All right, guys, here I am in my bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning three pairs of really dirty shoes. Normally in this kind of a situation, I wouldn't be picking up shoes this dirty, but I wanted to make a video about it for the series, and um, I got all of these super cheap. These were all found at the bins, so I've got probably like about two, three bucks into each one. These Hoka Arahi 4s are super dirty, and then these Nike Free Runs um, are pretty dirty considering they're all white. You can obviously see that. And then you can see the Adidas Ultra Boosts here. These are pretty dirty, but the bottoms were in really good condition. So to be able to find those at the bins, I thought it was definitely worth picking up and making this video. So what I'm gonna do is time lapse myself. Uh, I'm gonna scrub them with soap and water. I've got some uh, dish soap that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna scrub them, I'm gonna clean them like that. I'm gonna pull out the insoles. I have a whole video on how to clean white shoes. I'll link that video in the description. Uh, but I'm going to time lapse it so you can see me cleaning them and scrubbing them and then I'm going to soak them in OxyClean overnight and we'll see what happens in the morning. So enjoy this time lapse. What's going on guys? Thanks for watching this video and this time lapse right here is just me taking out the laces first and doing everything individually. So I take the insoles out, I scrub them with my Dollar Tree dish soap as well as my awesome spray that I get at the Dollar Tree as well and I use it in a concentrated form. I don't dilute it at all. All I do is I spray it down and I scrub with these soft uh, bristle brushes. It does the trick really well. I just put a little bit of grit and work into it. And most of the dirt comes out in this first wash cycle. It's actually crazy. Just wanted to show you guys as I'm doing this time lapse. I don't have my ring light in here because I didn't want it to get wet. But you can see the difference already in the hokas, the insoles, and then just the shoes. So this one has not been cleaned at all yet. And then this one has been. And I'll try to get it in better lighting here, but you can see how clean it already looks just from a little bit of scrubbing with dish soap and um, my special spray. So I get this from the Dollar Tree. It's actually awesome and it's called awesome. I really like it. Okay, first stage of the Hoka's is just about done here. Uh, they don't look super clean because they're wet, so it's obviously gonna make the white look darker, but I think they came out pretty good so far and then I'm gonna throw them in this bucket right here that's got some OxyClean in it. I'm gonna fill that up with water. And then I'm gonna clean these and throw them in there and then I will show you uh, in the morning what they look like. Oh, all the shoes are in my cauldron of OxyClean here and we're gonna see how they come out. I'm pretty excited because they already are looking so much better. I'm hoping that this just puts them over the top. It is the moment of truth. It is the next day. The shoes have been soaking in this OxyClean mixture. And you can already see the water is pretty gross. So I'm going to dump it out, rinse off the shoes, take them outside and see where we're at. But here goes nothing. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean gross. Definitely gross. This clip right here, all I am doing is rinsing everything off and using a scrub brush to get any extra dirt off as well as the insoles to clean those as best as possible, but just using cold water. So this is a process because these shoes are super wet and normally this is not how I clean my shoes, but because these were so dirty, I'm obviously taking the extra step to do the best that I can. But you can see like they, I mean, this is just amazing compared to what they were just look at that so that's crazy um once these dry these hokas came out pretty good i think these are actually like an off-white grayish color i don't think they're supposed to be triple white uh there's just no way they're that dirty there's still a little bit on these but for what they were again super happy with the way they came out the laces came out really clean so we're gonna let everything dry and uh then we will come back and put them together and see the final product. The next day, shoes should be pretty much dry at this point. And they are looking crispy. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. These cleaned up nice, man. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Let's put some laces in these. Sheesh, man. That came out so good. Wow. First three shoes are laced up and ready to go, but this difference always blows my mind after I finish cleaning shoes like this. It's just ridiculous how clean they came. Like they look so good. Worth every minute I spent to clean these. 
to maximize profit. Would I pick these up at a thrift store in the dirty condition that they were in for 10, 15 bucks? No way. But for how much I paid for them and how they turned out, I know I can now maximize profits and show you guys a little video on how to do this. Here's the final walkthrough of the Hoka's. Pretty good. Came out real nice. Here's the final showing of the Nikes. Insane how clean these came out. And finally, we have the Ultra Boost Prime Nets. I think these and the Hoka's were the dirtiest of the two pairs. The Nikes cleaned up super crispy, but these were by far, I think, the dirtiest with the Hoka's. And man, look at how they came out. Just crispy. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this or if it helped you and you learned something from it, be sure to hit that thumbs up for me. Leave a like down and comment something down below. If you need help cleaning shoes, the Dollar Tree is your best friend. Magic erasers, bleach, OxyClean. You can find it all there for really cheap prices. And don't be lazy. Maximize those profits and get those shoes cleaned. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace, money!